Hey there, Tilray traders and investors. It's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ stocks, crypto assets, news and interviews, also home of the best MJ community and the channel that was created by a retail investor for retail investors. Today's Monday, November 4th. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to be discussing a research firm came out and said, and shout out to Devin in Calgary who posted this and uh, tagged me on it on X, uh, but essentially they're talking about a potential merger and acquisition by Tilray of Canopy Growth and Aurora's non-US assets. So we're gonna discuss all of this and more in today's video. Before we do, make sure to smash the like. If you're new, you can subscribe. Tick the bell, you'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. And as always, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. Never buy or sell anything based on anything that I say or write. And full disclosure, I do own all three of these stocks. You can also follow us over on X, formerly Twitter. Handle for that is at GroupPow. Going to be using that as my platform of choice going forward. And just a quick shout out, I'll be interviewing Hugo Al, CEO of Oxley on November 15th on Friday. Let me know if you have any questions. So this was the article here from Benzinga. Tilray High Tide, Glass House, how top MJ companies deal with financial pressures. So it's behind a paywall. Uh, one thing that I enjoy about uh, certain types of uh, platforms like Moomoo is you can download it and you get the news for free. So it's behind a paywall, but they pay for it. So you're able to see it. So here's the article here, High Tide, Glasshouse, Tilray, how top MJ companies deal with financial pressures. So we'll go through, they talk about a uh, high tide and they talk about their Q3 report, radiating positivity. And the firm's name is Elevitix, I think is how you pronounce it. So we'll scroll down. Uh, they had lots of great things to say there, uh, but they talk about Tilray here. So TLRY operational losses reflect cost struggles. And then this was the article, or this was the part of the article here. So according to Elevitix reports, and this is a research firm based in Europe, is what I uh, gathered. So according to Elevitix, Tilray strategic maneuvers, including potential acquisitions of Aurora MJ and Canopy Growth's non-US operations suggest a pivot towards strengthening its medical MJ footprint in international markets. <laughs> so that, I don't know how I didn't see this. Uh, like I said, a lot of, probably the reason why was because it was behind a paywall and I would assume everybody else uh, probably had the same reason for not seeing that. But like I said, shout out to uh, Devin, I think it was, uh, let me just double check here. Yeah, De Dave in Calgary. Sorry, not Devin. Dave in Calgary. So thanks for tagging me in that. Uh, that's definitely something that I missed. So, you know, this video isn't meant to be hypey or anything like that. I'm not saying that it's going to for sure happen. Uh, but, you know, I had people asking me about it in the Power Group private community as well. Do I think it's possible? It's very, very possible. Uh, we could see, you know, those mega mergers happen. And, uh, you know, Canopy Growth acquiring... Acreage and CUSA, Canopy USA. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anything's possible. I always thought that Aurora would more than likely get acquired at some point. So uh, that one I could definitely see happening, whether it's Tilray or somebody else. Uh, I think it would make a lot of sense for them to to partner up. And then Canopy Growth. Yeah, who knows? Um, this is something that a lot of people aren't seeing coming either. A lot of people are saying, well, what about... Uh, what about, um, you know, entry into the US? A lot of other names are making big moves and, you know, Erwin Simon and CEO uh, of Tilray have basically been saying, well, once we know what the law, the law of the land is, then we'll make a move, right? We don't want to be guessing what we can and can't do and, uh, you know, kind of trying to, you know, band-aid, a, a band-aid strategy, right? You're trying to basically expand without really knowing the law and the regulations. So they're just waiting for more clear cut rules. But one thing that the market might not be factoring in is what if they acquired like a canopy and then, um, you know, an Aurora. And there was talks, I think there was an article or sorry, it was an interview with BNN Bloomberg. I think, um, one, I think it was that Amber girl on BNN Bloomberg. She said, well, what about canopy? Like they've been on uh, quite the spiral downward. Uh, could you buy them? <laughs> and he's like, uh, you know, he didn't really say too much about it, but he said, you know, we, you know, we got Hexo and we don't really need anything else at this point, but they've been saying that they could potentially uh, acquire another company. And then there was this information out uh, earlier today that I posted. So Tilray was involved in a lawsuit. So this is from MJ Law Report. So Tilray sued over vote to increase share limit. And uh, they talked about, you know, this isn't for, you know, general purposes. This isn't to keep the, the lights on, right? This is uh, for acquisitions, accretive acquisitions, whether it be, they talked about buying another spirits business. They talked about, you know, more beverage expansion and they talked about potentially acquiring another 
uh, company, whether it be in the U.S., uh, once we have full-blown legalization or rescheduling, safe banking, uh, they could potentially acquire a company in the U.S., and they might even continue to acquire companies in Canada. So it's very, very possible that we see Tilray acquire another Canadian operator. I think there's almost 100% chance that they're going to acquire a U.S. company, uh, but we'll see what happens. Again, this is for Aurora and Canopy's non-U.S. assets, uh, but like I said, there's there's so much potential here. Like once we hit the blue chip phase, like there's going to be mega mergers, right? And the only time we're going to hit, the only time we could potentially be in a blue chip phase is when the biggest economy in the world is legal at the federal level. When the U.S. is not legal at the federal level, how can we be in the blue chip phase, right? It just it just doesn't make any sense. So until we hit that blue chip phase, we need the U.S. to legalize, and it's probably going to be three to five years after the U.S. legalizes that we reach that blue chip status, right? And during that blue chip status, you're going to see mega mergers. You're going to see your Tilray's and, you know, there could be like a Tilray and a Cureleaf merger, right? There was talks about Cureleaf potentially buying Kronos, so Cron. Um, we know Cureleaf bought Northern Green Canada. So now they are a Canadian LP as well. They're an operator in Canada, the US and internationally, right? And then think about Germany, right? <laughs> with all of these and these international medical markets with Aurora and Canopy and, you know, EU GMP certification over to Germany and Tilray with the number one um, position in, in Germany and first new cultivation license, like there's so much potential here, it's not even funny. And uh, this is definitely something that would uh, take the sector by storm and a lot of people uh, would be caught off guard in my opinion. But like I said, I'm, I'm prepared for it. These mega mergers are going to happen, whether it be, you know, Canada, Lake for Lake in Canada, or, you know, whether it be MSO and LP, look at Canopy and Acreage. So Canopy is becoming an MSO. Cureleaf in Northern Green Canada, Cureleaf becoming an LP, writing on, is on the wall. It's already happening at a very small scale. And eventually we're going to get to that massive, massive blue chip mega merger, large scale phase. And uh, I'm excited for it. That's when things are really going to start to pop off. And you're really going to start to see, you know, big alcohol, tobacco, pharma start to enter the space. We could see, you know, even bigger um, acquisitions from an outside perspective, right? We could see more big pharma enter the space and acquire MJ companies. So um, it's exciting times ahead. Uh, it's obviously electric. Eve here and uh, Florida vote tomorrow and the, the presidential elections in the U.S. So uh, FOMC rate decision. We have earnings season, season in the sector kicking off. So it's going to be a jam-packed week and I'll be covering everything as it develops. But uh, make sure to smash like, share the video with anybody in your network that might find value and uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this potential merger and uh, acquisition in the comments section below and we'll continue the conversation there. It's Rod with Power Group. Thanks again for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth. It's going to be uh, an interesting uh, week ahead, so make sure you get lots of rest, and uh, I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm grateful to be here and, and making videos, and thanks for taking the time out of your day to, uh, to, to listen to my videos and to support the channel. I really do appreciate all of the support. It definitely does not go unnoticed. All right, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you again on the next video.